Welcome back guys. For this class you're going to need two blocks at the front of your mat on the lowest height and sit in Virasana. If your knees are starting to hurt put a block on the lowest height between your ankles. Sit on both sit bones hands on the thighs and move your low sacrum in and up. Spread your chest Reach your hands out in front of you, interlock the thumbs, and raise the arms up. As you raise the arms up, firm the triceps in, and bring your front ribs in. Lower the arms, and twist to the left. As you twist, notice that your low back doesn't crunch. Come back to center. Interlock your thumbs the goofy way and raise your arms up. Energize through your fingertips. Relax your traps down your back. Pull the front ribs in. Lower your hands and twist to the right. And as you inhale, get length from your sit bones all the way to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, twist deeper. Come back to center. Come on to all fours. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, bring your belly to the ceiling. And move with your own breath. Inhale, cat pose. Exhale, dog pose. So just lubricating the spine Inhale forward, tip the tailbone, exhale down the spine out. Again, chest forward, tailbone to the ceiling, chin to chest. Now come on to <clears throat> your fingers facing outsides, the mats, and start rocking side to side to warm up the wrists and start pushing into the inner wrists to turn on the scapula muscles. So just warming up the wrists, lubricating the joints. Now turn your hands to the back of the mat and lower your chest. Then turn your triceps towards your thighs. So inhale lower, exhale, press up. Inhale lower, exhale, press up. And if this hurts, just bring your knees closer to your hands and do a couple more on your own. Place your fingers towards you. Draw your chest forward. Bring your low belly in. And really root through the front of your wrists. Start sitting back on your heels slowly to get a deeper stretch. Come forward. Come back. Come forward and come back. All the way back on your heels. Roll your wrists out and roll the other way. So it's good that we warm up the wrists. <clears throat> Grab your left wrist and start rolling your wrists. Switch sides. Come on to all fours. So this is the scapula, the strength of the scapula. That's what it looks like. You press the floor away. And then come into a high plank down dog. Have your shoulders over your wrists, up on your toes, then lower down. Inhale your chest forward, tip the tailbone. Exhale. Press the spine to the ceiling. Curl your toes. Lift your hips. Take a full inhale here. Press the floor away. Lower down. Inhale your chest forward. Exhale. Curl your toes. Lift your hips. 
So it's a short down dog. So we're really working the front of the body. Then lower your knees. Inhale, pull your chest forward. As the more movement we do, make the stretches deeper, the sensation deeper. Bring your hands on the blocks. <clears throat> Curl your toes. Or press your feet back into a high plank. So we're doing scapula push-ups. The arms are straight and we're just lowering our chest and then pressing the floor away. The elbows are locked for this one. The thighs are rolling in and up and go for 10 on your own. Turn your fingers out, down and up. Inhale lower, exhale press the floor away. And do 10 more on your own here. Lower your knees. Now turn your fingers in and grab the insides of the blocks. Come back into a plank and do 10 more here. Make sure that you don't bend your elbows and that you're really getting deep into the scapula. Lower your knees. Bring the blocks together. Place your thumbs like an L on the outside of the blocks. And then curl your thumbs just a little bit so it looks like a J now. <clears throat> and then do scapula push-ups here. And finish 10 up. Now turn your thumbs up so you're doing like karate chop arms and do 10 more. So all of these scapula push-ups are building the strength for all the arm balances, handstands, inversions basically. Core stability, scapula stability. Now turn the palms up and do 10 more. Don't give up the, suck up your guts and your low belly. Don't give that up. Now bring your palms out by your elbows and do 10 more here. So if you can only do five, it's okay. I started at five and you just work your way up. Now put the other hand on top of the other arm and do 10 more. Lower your knees and sit back in child's pose. Hope your knees as wide as the mat. Bring the big toes together and just rest. So this isn't very easy. As you can see, I got really tired. So just do your best. Bring your hands on your blocks and move back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg. Bring your left leg to your right, left elbow. Straighten the leg back. And on your exhale, bring your left leg to your left elbow. Inhale the leg back. And see if on the exhale on this one, you can get it up to your tricep. Inhale the leg back. Exhale it up to the tricep. Inhale it back. Lower the leg. Lift the right leg. Exhale it to the right elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale it to the right elbow. Really reach back on the inhale. Exhale, see if you can get it up to your tricep this time. Inhale it back. Exhale it right elbow. Lower the leg. Downward facing dog. Now come into Vajrasana, side plank, roll on the outside of the right foot and press firmly into the right hand. Lift the left arm, now spiral your inner legs back and lift your hips up higher. Move the back of your head in line with your spine. Lower the left arm, slowly as you can come back into a push-up position. Hold this piss up position, pull the low belly in, 
turn the triceps towards your thighs. Roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. So really press into that left hand like you're standing on your hand. And then move the back of your head in line with your tailbone. Raise the right arm up. Lower the right arm, slowly as you can, come straight back to a push-up position. Walk in a downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, bend your knees, exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, lower your knees, exhale, press your heels to the floor. Inhale, lower your knees. Exhale, heels to the floor. Hold on, down dog. Pull your right knee up to your left elbow. Straighten the leg. Bring the leg back. Bring your left knee by your right elbow. Straighten the leg. And pull it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, right knee, bring the right leg back. Exhale, left knee, inhale, bring the leg back. Exhale, right knee, straighten the leg, bring the leg back. Inhale, exhale, left leg, straighten the leg, bring the leg back. So really getting the obliques turned on. Step the right foot between your hands, lower your knee, and come into a low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your palms together and look up at your thumbs. And arch your back. Lower your hands. Step back to down dog. Step the left foot between your hands, low lunge. Inhale, the arms up. Bring the palms together. Look up at your thumbs and arch back. Bring your hands down. Step down facing dog. Start to come into a high push up. So it's a half down dog. Pull the low belly in. Firm in on your outer hips. Roll your inner thighs up. Firm the quadriceps. Lower your knees and jump your feet forward. Jump your feet back. Exhale, jump your feet forward. Inhale, jump your feet back. Exhale, jump your feet forward. And just do a few more of these on your own. Remove the blocks, come into a down dog. Bend your knees and jump your feet forward again. Inhale, Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale, jump back. Bend your knees, jump your feet forward. Inhale, Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the mat. Bring your feet hips width apart. Place your hands underneath your feet. And if you can't grab underneath your feet, just grab your ankles. Padastasana. While you're here, let your head hang heavy. Pull your low belly in. And firm your thighs. Inhale your chest forward. And exhale, release. Place your hands and jump back into Chaturanga. Elbows over the wrists and hold here. Pull the low belly in. Lift the hips a little bit. And lower all the way down. Bring your hands back behind your back. Clasp the fingers. 
press the feet into the floor and you'll pull your chest forward and lift your legs spiral your inner thighs up towards the ceiling lower your cheek and rest Interlock your fingers the opposite way. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your legs. And roll off onto your right side. And look up at the ceiling. So this should stretch your right shoulder. Roll back to the center. And roll off to the opposite side. Draw the elbows together and spread the chest. So if you have tight shoulders, this is really good to do. I have really tight shoulders and this is one of my favorite things to do for my shoulders. Release your hands. Come to Sphinx Pose. Elbows under the shoulders. Pressing the pubic bone to the ground and the big toes in the floor. Bring your hands back by your sides, baby cobra. Lift your left leg, reach it back, set it down. Lift your right leg, reach it out through your toe, set it back. Inhale, press up to upward facing dog. Keep the thighs energized. Open the chest. Roll the shoulders back and move your sacrum in and up. On your exhale, flip over the toes, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and either jump to seated or you can just make your way to seated. So grab blocks this time, and if you couldn't do it without the blocks, this time use the blocks to jump to seated. Come into Dhanasana, and tilt your back six inches back behind you, and lift the right leg, bring the right leg to the left, exhale it to the right, inhale it to the left. Exhale to the right. So just three inches. Three inches to the left. Exhale three inches to the right. Now point your toe if you haven't already. Lower the leg. Lift the left leg. Pull the low belly in. Lift the leg to the left. Inhale it to the right. Exhale to the left. Inhale it to the right. Exhale left. Inhale straight. Bring your legs on the mat. And slowly go back a little lower. Keep your arms straight. Pull the low belly in. Reach straight your toes. Hold here. Hold, hold, and slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Pull the knees into your chest. Apanasana. Rock back side to side. So this is good for your back if you have an injured back and massages the back. Grab the outside soles of the feet. Elbows on the inner knees, happy baby. Release, stretch the legs out. Final resting pose, Shavasana. Slowly bend your knee and rock off onto your right side. Press yourself up to seated. Cross your legs, close your eyes, bring your hands into prayer. Thank you guys. Namaste.